Creating your course homepage, a Brightspace tip from the AACPS Office of Instructional Technology. By default, all courses in Brightspace will have a default homepage set with widgets determined by uh, the Brightspace team in AACPS. However, you do have the ability to customize this homepage if you wish. To customize your homepage, you're going to go into Course Admin and then select Home Pages. You're then going to select the Create Home Page button that's at the very top. It's going to open up another uh, tab for us, and you're going to want to go ahead and give your custom home page a name. For uh, purposes here, I'm going to call this Delete Later. I can choose to give it a description if I want, so I maybe a brief um, reminder of what actual widgets I'm going to include on this home page. We're going to leave our type as widget based, and from here we can change our basic layout. By default, you're given a larger column on your left-hand side of your screen and a narrower one over on the right. If you don't like that, if you want to change that, simply hit the Change Layout button. And you'll see that you have several different options that you can use for your home page. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and leave mine with that basic uh, layout. I'm going to go ahead and hit Update. And now I'm going to begin adding the widgets to the right hand and left hand sides of my course. Again, my left hand side is going to be my larger side. So I'm going to think about the widgets and how much space they take up and what they're used for. So when I go in here and hit this add widgets button, I'm really thinking about more my text based things, the things that I want to be very prominent on my page to make sure my students don't miss. Uh, so from, uh, for me, I'm going to choose my announcements because that's really important. It's going to be very text heavy. It's going to tend to have maybe some images or things things like that. Along with that, I might want to put my activity feed on that um, left hand side. And then maybe I'm going to go ahead down here and choose that visual TOC. And as you can see, I can keep going down. I'm going to go ahead and put the my courses there as well. So it's easy for my kids and for myself to navigate to my next courses uh, from that widget here on this course homepage. I'm going to go ahead and select add. So again, uh, this just by default puts them in alphabetical order uh, on this column, but I can move those around. I want to make sure my announcements is up top, so I'm going to click and drag that to the top. You'll see that dark line that indicates where I'm going to drop it. That's going to go at the very top for me, um, and I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to make sure that my activity feed uh, is ahead of my TOC as well. I can then move over to the right-hand side of my screen, hit Add Widgets. Uh, this one I'm going to find I might go ahead and put my calendar there for my students to easily see. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and put my teacher profile in there and perhaps a list of tasks that needs to be done. I'm going to go ahead and hit add and just like before I can drag and drop those into any order that I wish. When I'm happy with uh, what I have here I'm going to hit save and close. This then takes me back to the list of all of the home pages that are available to me for this course. In this case, you can see what my active home page is. It's the one called Carver Center, but I want to make it that one I just created called Delete Later. So I'm going to find that in my list. They are in alpha order, and I'm going to select this little down arrow. I can copy, and I can even delete it if I want to. If I need to edit it, I would select on that hyperlink, and it would open for me where I'd be able to edit it. But I'm going to come up here where it says my active home page. I'm going to select my down arrow and I'm going to choose delete later. I then need to hit apply. Once I hit apply, this is going to take me um, back. I can see that it says this here. So then I can go hit course home. And I will be able to see that new home page in effect. So here's my announcements followed by my activity feed, that visual TOC, and my courses on the left-hand side, and then I have my other things that I've added to the right. If I'm happy with it, great. If I want to go back and edit it again, I certainly can do so.